Welcome to the Rendezvous YouTube channel. <laughs> Today, I thought I'd take a few minutes and show you what I've been working on uh, pretty steadily, actually, for the last couple of weeks. It's been a lot of fun. So it was about a year ago, probably maybe a year and a half ago, when I uh, took on the challenge of cleaning up our crawl space beneath our house. It was a mess. It, it had been being filled up since 1986, and I put it off for as long as I could. There was a lot of junk in there. We threw almost everything away. Saved a few things. I did find something, though, that I... I'd forgotten I had. I really had forgotten about it. And I was kind of excited when I pulled away some old beat up cardboard boxes and looked down and lo and behold, here was my old slide projector that I used back in the film days to uh, look at the slides, you know, to view the slides that I had shot with my film camera. Now, I'm not sure where I got this slide uh, projector. I, I'm i almost thinking that it belonged to my dad and if, it, if that's the case then he probably bought it in 1966 after our family trip to Yellowstone. He was excited about going and he took a lot of slide pictures himself and uh, sadly I don't know what happened to those. Dad passed away uh, several years ago, so I, I don't know what happened to his pictures. I also took some uh, photos on that trip with my uh, with my uh, C3 Argus C3 camera. Anyway, let's get back to this. So this is a Sawyer Grand Prix 570 AF slide projector. It was covered in dust and oh it was it was looking pretty bad and and I let it sit here in the studio for quite a while and uh and then recently I I happened to notice it over there and I thought well I wonder if that thing still works so I cleaned it up I had a paint old paintbrush I you know got dust and stuff off of it and I and I I uh, I found the cord the power cord, it's detachable, and I did find it. Also, I found a remote cable release that plugs in. It plugs in on this side here, and there's a little plug-in right here for it. And uh, I plugged it in and stood back a little bit. I mean, I checked inside here that you get to the, uh, you get to the, to the lamp in here. The lamp is right here in this machine, and I, I was positive that it wasn't going to work, but son of a gun, it did work, and and it came on and everything, so I thought, hmm, I'm going to try this, and so I set up this little kind of a, a just a short distance area here, to uh, view my slides on. I put this piece of white uh, foam board here, right here, and I had the camera, and I have the camera sitting on this. Uh, when I when I actually look at the slides, they're a little bit further apart, probably almost two feet further apart here on this table. But I, I tell you the truth, I can hardly remember how to operate the thing. It's pretty simple, but what you do, It takes these uh, slide trays. I don't know what else to call it. Anyway, you load your slides into this, and it's kind of a tricky thing to do. They got to be a certain way. They're not going to be the way you think they are because things are inverted and turned around and swapped out in here. And the, so you you got to learn how to how to uh, how to insert each individual slide in which way it goes and once you do that then you just uh, put the open side here not the side with the 
or the dark area here where the slides uh, can't go through. That, 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 this goes towards the projector. This goes to the out. No, I'm sorry, I'm back here. I'm wrong. The slides go towards the projector and, and they slide into a little slot right here like this. And it's very easy to do. You turn on the lamp and with the remote, you just push a button, but since that's not working, I, I, I use this. And you just, you just go back and forth with this little handle here. And as you do, this rotates. You'll see it rotates. So every time you do that, you're getting a new slide. Pull it out, rotate it, push in a new slide that projects onto your screen. It, it's really simple. Uh, I spent <laughs> the last, uh, Two weeks I've been pushing this in and out a lot here. I mean, a lot. Just watching the slides as they go through on this, and some are good, some are not. Most of them are not, but there is some gems in there. So anyway, that's how you do it. Now I have. When I found it, when I found this, I looked in my closet, and I had. Two of these already filled up with slides. They each hold a hundred slides. Each each uh, each tray here holds a hundred slides, and I had two of them already filled, and I had some extras. So right now here I have two filled. I had five uh, five yeah I have five all together. So here's here's the one I haven't done yet, and I have two here and there's two more in the house. So I have four hundred. 400 slides already loaded into these here and I'm going to go through I've already went through those and and I did pick out a couple slides and you're going to see them uh, you know I think there's 10 of them I'm going to show you here in just a moment but it's been a lot of fun I it brings back a lot of memories I see people in those pictures that I don't see anymore I see people who aren't even here anymore a lot of those and, and places I've been and pictures I took that I say, why the heck did I take that? <laughs> you know, in, in the film days, we, even though it costs money, we took a lot of, or at least I did, I took a lot of pictures. Anything caught my eye, I took a picture of it. And so getting to the basics, all these, all these film boxes here, down here in front of me, those are all full of, full of slides that I haven't put into a holder. Uh, the bigger boxes hold 36 slides, the smaller ones are 20 exposure boxes. So I got a lot to do. Plus, I got this. This is just page after page of slides in here that need to be loaded in something like that. And I'm certain that I have other slides that I have boxes that I haven't even found yet. I, I shot print film mostly in those in the film days, but I did shoot quite a few uh, slides and more than I thought I did. So I've got to order. I, I, I looked on eBay and you can order these pretty. They're pretty readily available. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to order two or three more. That might be enough. And they also, these are pretty available if you wanted to buy a used one. It's a Sawyer, a, any Sawyer uh, uh, slide projector. Well, I think any slide projector would probably work for you. I just have the Sawyer because that's what I have. Anyway, so yeah, I've got, I've got to order some more uh, trays because I'm almost, well, I got that one to fill. And I'll probably do that here tomorrow. So when I when I project these slides, now they're not clean. They haven't been stored in a safe place. <laughs> they, for uh, now, these are from these slides are gonna are are from about 19 the mid 60s, right up into the late 80s or early 90s, I think. Uh, because uh, I was still shooting film into the late 90s uh, until about the turn of the century, I guess. I, I was shooting film. So, <clears throat> but these are old. I mean, 50 to 60 years old, a lot of these are. And it's, it's been fun looking at them. 
but they're, but they're filthy. They're dirty. And I've I tried to oh, a few years ago, I don't know, quite a few years ago. I tried to scan some, and they had so much dust on them that and they were just awful. So I, the way I do this when I before I put them in this. Bef well, no, I just put them right out of the box into the tray. And then when I, when I go through them, like you saw in the video there, uh, when I go through them, I, I, if I see one I really want to scan, I'll, I'll, I pull it out and look at it. And I take this little artist brush. I don't even know any, I don't know anything about artist brush. I bought these for about this reason. But I just take it and I just go like this on both sides, give it a blow or two, you know, and, and, and just be pretty aggressive, you know, with, with, the, with the brush and just try to get all that dust and grime off of it. And then I put it in my Epson 4870 scanner. I do it one at a time. I don't load up a whole batch of them. It's just, I'm just doing one at a time. If it looks, if it looks good at this point, I'm just doing one at a time. I may at some date go through and just scan everything so somebody will be able to look at it someday. Anyway, so after I do that, I'll scan it, like I said, on the Epson 4870. The, the scanning program I have now is pretty good. That's not the Epson one because Windows 10 don't take that, but I can't sure scan or something like that. Anyway, I was scanning these and, and I was still getting a lot of dust on it, but then I seen it had a a feature that uh, was infrared cleaning, and I, I wonder what that is. And so I clicked on it, and it had uh, medium, low, medium, and, and high, or something like that. So I just clicked it on medium and, and scanned a couple, and it makes two passes. Scans once, comes back, scans again. And you know what? That worked dang good. It worked really good. And <laughs> I don't have much touch up to do it. You know, there's going to be a little bit. But anyway, and when I'm through, I come back and put it, you know, put my slide back in the slot I took it from, trying to make sure that it's placed correctly, which that one isn't right there because I forgot how it came out. But anyway, and then I just work on it. As I scan that picture, then I'll go over to the computer and uh, camera raw and, and Photoshop, and I'll work on it and try to get it as good as I can. Sometimes there's been a few that I, nope, can't do them. There's, the color is too far off and too faded and, and I can't do them. But the majority of them I've been able to do something with. Uh, I, I'm not trying to keep them realistic, I guess you could say. I, I found that if I use the uh, oil paint filter in in Photoshop. I, it, it it makes it look nice, and it, I try not to make it overpowering, but I use I do use it, and what that does it helps hide some of the uh, flaws and the you know the dust and stuff in the in that picture, and and it and it helps a lot. And I'm not trying to be absolutely. I'm not going to say this is exactly how I saw it. I, I, don't, I don't care. I mean, I'm just trying to make a nice picture out of these old slides. And, and I don't care if it's been modified. I, I just don't care if it's been Photoshopped. I just want a nice picture. So that's how I do it. Just a little brush. And it, that helps a lot. But it's the way that I process them. I don't use a lot of noise reduction. I try to keep it as sharp as I can. I, I got to be truthful. Each one of these slides, it takes me probably a half hour to get it the way I want it. And so it's quite a big job. I, I work at it quite a bit until I'm happy with it and it's it makes a nice picture. Uh, and And you've already seen I've been showing you the pictures that some of the some of the photographs that I've worked on as I've talked here, so you've already seen them, and also you'll be able to go to Smug Mug, and I'm going to have them on a gallery there as I normally do, so you'll be able to see them a little closer. 
I can't think of anything else I want to say other than I got a big job ahead of me to <coughs> all this stuff here. Well, yeah. So I did print one out. I did. And I, I got to tell you, folks, this <laughs> just when this was coming off of the printer, it, I was looking at it and just saying, wow, I, I didn't think I would get what I got on a print here. So I'm going to show it to you. And everything's, I got everything rearranged here. You can see that everything's just kind of in here, in the way. So I, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. But here is, here is the, the photo that I enlarged. I got to really stretch out there because I had to move the camera back a ways. This is such a peaceful scene. I don't remember, kind of remember taking this. And I, ha I put it on Facebook. I didn't know where it was. I knew it was in somewhere in Washington State. And I put it on Facebook and asked if anybody knew where that was. And sure enough, somebody recognized this place. This is the Sam Bass Ranch. In a, in a, it's in a place known locally as the Weenass here in the Yakima, not here, but in the Yakima Valley. This is sometime in the early 1970s. Uh, I took it with my main camera back then, a, a Konica Auto Reflex T. I used a, a Hexanon 52 millimeter 1.8 lens and Kodachrome slide film. That's about all the information I'm going to have on that because I don't remember anything else. I don't remember the camera settings, nothing like that. Beautiful picture though. When you look close, you'll see the paint, of, the oil painting effect in it. I like it. It's a beautiful picture. Oh, and so on my Konica, I used that camera a lot. I bought it in 1969, the Konica Auto Reflex T. And after we moved up here, it kind of went bad on me. Things started not working. So I think it finally went the way of a yard sale, and I wish I hadn't have done that, but I did it. But here, look at this. I still have the darn lens right here. This is the exact lens that I used to take that picture. Nice lens, it won't fit anything I have now. It almost fits an icon mount, but not, not quite. But anyway, I kept it as a keepsake. I, that's, Lynch has taken a ton of pictures right there. Just a ton. Anyway, thought I'd show you that. So that's what I've been doing. And it's, it's a good thing. And I would recommend, especially anyone older like me who might have some of those laying around, some of those old slides, get them out and find a projector. It's, it's a lot easier with the projector, I gotta tell you, it's a lot easier to go through what you have instead of holding them up to the light like this and trying to look at them at, or use a little view, a little slide viewer, which I have, it's not very bright and it doesn't work good. This is just as, as fast as you can, uh, as fast as you can do that, you can see what slides you got. It, it's really quick. If you were gonna look through your slides, I would generally, I would really recommend using one of these or buying it. You can get them pretty cheaply on, on eBay from what I've seen, but it saves a lot of work and it's kind of fun. You know, it's just kind of fun. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'm gonna close now and I'm gonna probably Get this empty tray down there and I'm gonna fill her up with some of these things right right here and go through them. See what I can see if I can find those ones from 66. I know they're in there somewhere. But <laughs> anyway, you guys all take care. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to check out my smug bug website for the, to take a look at those pictures I showed you a little earlier. Take care now, you guys. Have a good week. Bye now.